Jean-Claire Tadibo hesitates before answering a query concerning the impact of Ineos and Nice. When it comes, his response is forceful. The center defender believes. They bring a winning mentality, which will delight Manchester United supporters. Tadibo is in a good position to talk about the benefits and drawbacks of playing for Ineos. One of Europe's most attractive properties is the 24-year-old. In addition to United's appreciation for him, Tottenham, Chelsea, and Atletico Madrid are rumored to be interested in him. Given that he owns both clubs, one would think that Sir Jim Ratcliffe would make an alluring offer. However, this week, issues with UEFA's ownership regulations were raised by the complexities of his ownership stakes in Nice and United, as both teams had qualified for the Europa League for the following season. One of Ineos's footballing success stories is Tadibo. His personal commitment to the principles that Ineos is promoting has made him one of Europe's most sought-after centre-backs. Tadibo says, They changed a lot of things. They provide us with comfort, which fosters an environment that supports the team's success. Throughout NICE headquarters, there are reminders of Ineos's leadership. The Mercedes Formula One car, sponsored by Ineos, greets you with an intimidating presence as soon as you enter through the main door. Their emblem is displayed on the safety screens around every training field outside. Then, the Ineos compass is displayed prominently on the shelves. The upper part is decorated with Les Mo's K. New Samens, or The Words We Love. Retaliation, Retaliation, Consequence, Outcome, Originality, Creativity, and Growth, Growth, are a few of them. There are also several hardback books on the company's sailing and cycling endeavors strewn about. According to Tadibo, gamers can frequently spot Ratcliffe and Sir Dave Brailsford, the head of performance, idly meandering through the hallways. According to him, they place a lot of importance on being around the players, so they can give their best performance. Sir Jim interacts with the players, joking about. And Dave is another one. It's obvious that Tadibo has a particular place in his heart for Dave, as he calls him. In the upcoming months, it will become more apparent whether his strategies, which have shown effectiveness in other sports, can be applied to the Premier League. Nice transformation into a team that almost missed Champions League qualification this season indicates that their strategy may be successful in the game of football. Tadibo supports the marginal gains philosophy of Brailsford. Every detail matters to Dave, he explains. Performance is all he thinks about. He talks about it a lot. Because of his riding background, he is well-versed in athletic performance. Although it's said that cycling and football are unrelated, they are. It is the same if you have 11 players who are only considering how they perform and how everything around them can help them perform better. Players should consider what they need to do to perform before thinking about football. If 11 players are playing to the best of their abilities, you will have a better chance of winning trophies. We must take responsibility for our mentality. However, we also accept responsibility as players because we're rivals and want to succeed. United's FA Cup victory provided evidence that things could get better in the future. The Ineos plan will soon be clearer when they choose whether to keep Eric Ten Hag as manager, as his job is in jeopardy. Tadibo has a stake in how the initiative turns out. Though he may have already joined the team, it is feasible that he will play for United next season. He remembers, When I was 15, I had trials at Nottingham Forest, Le Havre, and Manchester United, but I decided to join Toulouse. At United and Forest, there were differences in culture. They were on a purpose, striving to be professionals, unlike the players in my neighborhood who were just trying to have fun. I wasn't thinking like that at the time. I just wanted to play football and have fun. Known as a teenage wonder kid, Tadibo moved to Barcelona at the age of 19 from Toulouse. His days of playing on the streets of the Paris suburb of Bagnolet had faded. These days he had to mark Lionel Messi and Luis Suarez. I recall that initial training session. It was quite enjoyable, he exclaims. There was Messi, Suarez, Ausmane Dembélé, Kevin Prince Boating, Gerard Peake, Samuel Umtatai, and Ivan Rakitic. I became aware of how different I was from them during my first few months at Barca, 
so I focused on doing my best work. After spending two loan periods at Schalke and Benfica, Tadibo made just four appearances before departing for Nice in January 2021. I have no regrets about it. At the moment, joining Barcelona was the greatest option, he claimed. I was too young and unprepared for everything related to football when I moved to Barcelona. You need to control every aspect of your life, including your sleep patterns, social media use, eating habits, and media exposure. People are watching you at all times. But it turned out to be the finest decision in terms of improving my game. I gained a lot of knowledge. While he was upset not to be included in the French squad for Euro 2020 for next month, Tadibo's comeback to League One helped him get into the squad the previous season. He gives off an aura of conviction that makes you think greater things are in store for him. He says, It's good to hear all the compliments. I am open to playing in the Premier League, but I am trying to stay focused on my game and my teammates. Does moving to United come next? He answers amiably, saying, I'm going to keep that for myself. Well done on the try. Keep an eye on this area.